Hey, welcome back everyone. Thank you for taking time and initiative to learn this AZ-900 examination series. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Azure Storage Services. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your instructor for this AZ-900 examination series. When you think about data categories, you can generally think of data as structured data, semi-structured and unstructured data. A structured data is a data that adheres to a schema. So all the data has the same field or properties. Structured data can be stored in a database table with rows and columns. The structured data relies on keys to indicate how one row in a table relates to data in another row of another table. The structured data is also known as relational data. And structured data is easier to enter, query, and analyze because all of the data flows in the same format. The structured data is easier to enter, query, and analyze because all the data follows the same format. Example of a structured data include a sensor data or a financial data. A semi-structured data is less organized than a structured data. A semi-structured data is not stored in a rational format, meaning the field do not neatly fit into tables, rows, and columns. A semi-structured data contains tags that make the organization and hierarchy of the data apparent. A semi-structured data is also known as non-relational or no SQL data. Examples of a semi-structured data include books, blogs, and an HTML documents. And finally, unstructured data. Unstructured data has no design structure. Unstructured data can hold any kind of data. Unstructured data is becoming more prominent as business try to tap into new data sources. Examples of an unstructured data include PDF document, JPEG image, a JSON file, and a video content. Let's explore different Azure storage product to support each different data type. Azure Storage is a service that you can use to store files, messages, tables, and other types of information. You can use Azure Storage on its own, for example, as a file share, but developers also often use it to store their working data. Such stores can be used by websites, mobile apps, desktop applications, and many other custom solutions. Azure Storage is also used by IaaS Virtual Machine and PaaS Cloud offerings as well. Some of the most common Azure Storage types in Azure are disk, files, objects, queues, and tables. So let's dive deep into it. First, disk. A disk storage provides disks for virtual machines, applications, and other services to access and use as they need similar to how they would use in an on-premises scenario. A disk storage allows data to be persistently stored and accessed from an attached virtual hard disk. A disk can be managed or unmanaged by Azure, therefore managed and configured by the user. These disks come in many different sizes and performance levels, such as solid state drives, which is SSDs, to traditional spinning hard drives, which is HDDs, and varying performance abilities. Details on pricing are available on Manage Disk Pricing page. The next type is Azure Files. Azure Files enables you to set up a highly available network file share that can be accessed by using the SMB protocol. That means that multiple VMs can share the same files with both read and write access. One thing that distinguishes Azure files from files on a corporate file share is that you can access the files from anywhere in the world using URL. Some of the most common scenarios where you can use Azure files are many on-prem applications use file shares. This feature makes it easier to migrate those applications to the shared data to Azure. Another scenario is you can use Azure files for storing the diagnostic logs, metrics, and crash dumps. Another kind of Azure storage service is blobs or containers. Azure Blob Storage is Microsoft object storage solution for the cloud. 
Blob storage is optimized for storing massive amount of unstructured data, such as text or binary data. This blob storage is ideal for serving images or documents directly to a browser, storing files for distributed access, streaming video or audio, storing data for backup and restore, disaster recovery and archiving, storing data for analysis by an on-premises or an Azure hosted services. Another kind of storage services available in Azure Pass is Azure Tables. Azure Table Storage stores large amount of structured data. Azure Tables are ideal for storing structured, non-relational data. Common use of table storage include storing TBs of structured data capable of serving web scale applications, storing data set that doesn't require complex joins. You can use table storage to store and query huge sets of structured and non-relational data and your tables will scale as demand increases. And finally, the last type of Azure storage service is queues. Azure queue service is used to store and retrieve messages. Queue messages can be held up to 64 KB in size and queue can contain millions of messages. Wow, that's a lot of information. Now that we have learned about Azure storage services, Let's go and create a blob container. So I'm going to take you through the Azure portal to learn how to create and work on a blob storage. So we'll see you on the next video. Till then, take care.